Welcome back, guys, to episode 25 of The Darkest Dungeon. If you watched the last episode, you know we went into the cove, we went torchless, and we paid the price for it. So, I'm going back to the cove because I think I need to clear one more until we can unlock a boss. So, I'm probably going to have back-to-back to back cove episodes. I got my party all set up. We're taking a level 4 and 3 level 3s. I wouldn't necessarily call it my A-team, considering my Hellion is not the best tank, but she's going to have to perform well enough for us. I am hurting for gold, especially since we didn't fare too well the last time. Man, these things are taking up inventory slots already. Alright, so this is less to do about getting gold and more to do about just trying to complete it so we can unlock a boss and get through. So I'm going to take three keys, probably just four shovels, some bleed, some bandages, torches. How many can I get? Eight. That'll have to do. I'll take an herbal remedy. And really, hopefully we can get rid of these things rather quickly. I think that's all I'm going to take. I have 730 gold left. Let's just jump in. Boy, I'm scared. Yeah. If you didn't watch the last episode, I don't I don't really want to spoil it. It's just it was disappointing what character we did end up losing. Alright. So what are we doing in this? Activate three protective wards. Alright, got you. Yeah, we're not doing torchless. I almost wanted to click it off. Alright, and so it begins. Good, I'm glad he's going first. Wow, three damage on that attack is ridiculous. Really, I'm gonna hope to stun this sucker. Yeah, good stuff. She's going to stun. Jellyfish resisted, that's fine, that's fair enough. We're gonna have to play a lot smarter than <laughs> what we did last time. We were just too reckless and I thought we were gonna steamroll the entire dungeon. Which we were doing a pretty good job of it. It's just I got nailed with a crit right at the end. Alright, so I would love to take this sucker out. Don't know why I keep saying that word. These guys are unlikely to be stunned again. So. Alright. Alright, so we got one left. We're gonna take some damage, undoubtedly. This is a bleed, more or less. Yeah, eight per round, which is just insane. I'm gonna buff him. Oh, it won't matter. I can't do the point blank. I guess I'll buff her. I should have blighted him, actually. Use a bandage. Does he bleed? He's got really high bleed resist, so... It's not likely that he will. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, we can stun, and we probably should. I want him in the front row. This is going to be lengthy. Alright, so... Start getting Blight going on him. That's doing 5 per turn, which is pretty decent. Yeah. Another bleed. Oh, nice resist. I don't know, man. 
I just want him in the front so he can get hit with that. Alright, so we're going to continue with the Blight because that's prior best damage. She's going to try and stun. Resist it. It's fine. That's fine too. Nice dodge. out of inventory space already. I'm going to use this. As the light gains purchase, drop the citrine, take those, reset the, the party. Made clear. That's another thing I was doing last episode. I just could not remember for the life of me or the life of my guy to switch the party around. So first off, good damage. It's prior stun. Yeah. He gets hit with the stun again. Alright. Want this thing dead. So that takes a little stress off of us. In real life, I don't care about their stress. Just mine. So, I'm going to start blighting this guy down. Yeah, that's okay. Probably party gill. I just want to keep everybody topped off when at all possible. Decent chance. Alright, we got it. That bleed sucks, but it's not enough to make me want to use a bandage on it. We have to save it for those big crab things. Four to seven. Fresh disadvantage. Give them no quarter. guy will undoubtedly die. Yeah, he will be dead on his next turn. And just in time for a heal. Slowly, gently. This is how we'll take what we can, begin. drop the rest, use a key on this. Surprising that I could hold it. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. So Noxious Blast. Probably on this. It's 
taking five damage per turn, it'll be dead. So. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. So far, so good. Aside from my inventory problems. Sucks, but I guess I'm going to leave those deeds behind. Actually, we can get rid of the anti venom, take the deeds, move on. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Another scout. So, I think we have to check out this curio. Somebody's eating more than they should. In radiance, may we find victory. All right, we're just gonna backtrack. Right. Another mariner, another misfortune. Yeah, in that last episode, I forgot to even use a shovel on one of the obstacles. I don't really have the inventory space. I'm just not going to open it. I would like the loot, I just can't. So hopefully we run into another one down the road. Alright. Hallway battle and then a room battle. We will noxious blast on you. It's fine if he gets stunned. Probably double stun you guys. I could just go like straight DPS and try and hurry this up, but I don't want to be that reckless. So the grouper will be dead. Jellyfish could get one hot one hit off somebody. And this probably will do it. took holy water. I still can't remember those things. I thought there was a room battle. It was just a quest location, okay. It had a similar color to a room battle. Alright, so pop in one of those. I mean, we have the medicinal herbs, we might as well. There's more food for us, and medicinal herbs back. That's worth 500. All right. Good enough. Got a trap. She's got 80% chance. The light, the promise of safety. I would say so, but he's still got so much health. I would like to try and stun this girl in the back. He's guarded, so 13 to 23 damage. I should just stun you guys. And get some heals. Alright. 
right, so get some blight going on this guy. It's okay, Vestal. It's okay. I still like you. I've been using the Occultist so much that I just, I love her guaranteed heals without bleed. It's okay, Vestal. I still like you. So, try to break through. Might be a bleed. She resisted. I think we got a scout on every single one thus far. It's unlocked. Another shovel, some portraits. I guess we have to go and see what that room is. Don't touch it. Okay. It's alright. Again, I'm gonna try it with you. We have plenty of torches. The way is lit, the path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. That was not the curio that we were hoping for. This guy's got to go. Probably should have tried stunning him. Done. Resisted. With like a 90% chance to stun. Fair enough. Maybe you can do it. Yep. to break through. Now get some heals out. See, she heals so much more nicely than the occultist. Mortality clarified in a single strike. buff you. So much damage. Well struck. I'm 
not enough to clear the corpse, which sucks. We have a shovel. I think we have plenty of shovels, so that's for the leper. I mean, that's probably pretty decent. It's decent enough to sell. I'll probably drop this. Should have probably used the torch, but. So, maybe I'll camp out in this next room. We only have four more to go. And I would like the inventory space, so we might as well. We're doing pretty decent. Touch it? Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know what interacts with it, but... I regret everything. No, that's okay. Alright, so we'll camp out. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. So maze. you got tapeworm. Alright, so first off removed his I keep forgetting that self only. Alright. So next, uh, bandit sense to pres uh, prevent the nighttime ambush. I've got seven left. I would say queen guns for a buff. For four battles. I'll just do that. I think that's fine. She can't get much stress if she's just dodging everything. Except for traps. Mind that such 15 more stress. Alright. I see how it is. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Hellion, you're supposed to dodge that. Alright, so... I'm probably on you. Then we're gonna go for some stuns. And some healing. It's fine. Is what I tell myself. I meant to full party heal. One and two. It's not really worth it.
25 away. I think I'm prioritizing these enemies in the complete wrong order. I'm making a mess out of this battle. Yeah, I deserve that crit for playing so badly. Now, heal up yourself. Again, I probably should have stunned, but... Another crit. I knew this was coming. She's gonna be checked. Yeah. You know, that's fine. I would be hopeless if I was controlling me too. No hope in this hell. No hope at all. Alright, so stun this guy. Which is something we should have done a long time ago. We're so close to the end. <laughs> Don't throw the game. Guaranteed kill. And then party heal. You don't want to be healed? Alright. Fair enough. Better not get hit though. Try having you eat. Thank you for eating. Drop the anti venom. Take those. Alright, so we got a quest item. Alright, here's another one. Got a trap. I really don't even trust you. Reset the party. Probably not touch this thing. Alright, and we're done. I'm gonna continue. We don't have any secret rooms, but I may get something from this curio in the hallway, or maybe the next one, or something from the battle, just to fill up my inventory. Because we are hurting for gold. Though at this point we can't lose. Impressive. Damn, Plague Doctor. Who knew you could be so good? yourself. <laughs> it's not advisable. Shovels, keys, all that good stuff. We got a nice sack, maybe something nice inside. So far it's been worth it. It's just a few minutes of your time. I could go back and get that chest all the way back in the beginning that we uh, passed up, but I'm not gonna. Who am 
force you guys to watch that. And a box, so. Three deeds, I think that's worth it. Let's get out of here. We got 10,000 gold out of this, but a good amount of deeds and other stuff. My Hellion is stressed, unfortunately. My Highwayman got rabies, which sucks. Yeah, okay. Maybe we'll have a high or not a highwayman. The frothing waters subside. The advantage Plus fifteen percent damage in cove on the next quest, so I think we already established we'll be doing another cove after this. We do have a man at arms, so and he starts off at level one already. The raw strength of youth may be spent. I should really take another level one vestal because we need something besides an occultist. Alright, and our boss is available. After this, it should all be 100% veteran runs, except off camera, I might run these guys just to level them up to level 3 so they can go on veteran also. So that's what I'll be doing um, for the next episode, taking on the Sodden crew. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been another shitty Let's Play. I hope to catch you again next time. So. Bye-bye for now.